Welcome Gemini, we're doing your July 2024 tarot forecast. It is a general reading, so trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome, love your support. If you do enjoy my readings, make sure to subscribe to my channel, show the love, hit that like button and the notification bell so you get notified when your next star sign reading is up on my channel. There is a competition running this month. You can go into the draw to win a one hour personal reading with me. They are pre-recorded so that I can meditate on your energy as well as check your Akashic record, your past life information, answer your most burning questions for the tarot and the oracle. And super simple to enter. All you got to do is pop a comment below this video. Let me know you want to go into the draw. Be subscribed and I'll be drawing a random winner at the end of the month and announcing it on my channel. And my personal readings are open. If you do need extra guidance and support at this time, do reach out. Link is on here and down below. Let's dive in. So pulling you a uh, opening energy from the beautiful Journey of Love Oracle. And let's see what you need to know, Gemini. Clear guidance, please. He's wanting to give me doubles. There we go. Oh, hello. You pulled the Christ flame. Quite a strong message to this one. Pull you up the guidance. Now, I'm not religious at all. I am spiritual. So uh, they can have a slightly kind of religious tone to, the, to this message in particular, but it's more about the energy. So I guess I just ask you to be open-minded. It says, Gemini, within you burns the flame of the Christ. Beyond religion, this flame belongs to all hearts willing to receive the divine. Opening to it as a lover would open the heart to receive the beloved. And through the awakening of the Christ within brings greater closeness to the divine and therefore greater love and depth of compassion. It can also bring sadness, righteous anger and a passionate need to contribute positive healing action and change in the world. You may be an introspective soul who does this through mastering their inner world with meditation and yoga, raising your own vibration with absolute intent that this bring healing to the world around you. You may be an extroverted soul that thrives in sharing messages and living a life of dynamic action in support of the causes that are worthy and moving to your brave heart capable of feeling divine outrage and responding with inspired action. You may be a combination of these soul types and choosing wisely what you consume, which companies you support, what television you do or do not watch, and what you read, voting for the life that you want to have around you in the world through your actions, your both internal and external. This is the Christ flame igniting within you, setting the world aflame with a fire of divine love. So this oracle brings you guidance that you are connecting with the universal Christ consciousness and your heart is meant to awaken as a sacred heart, bearing the Christ flame of divine love. This lifetime, you're part of a wave of awakening happening on the earth now and you're exactly where you're meant to be, doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. Keep going. Um, there's a poem here. It says, love is more than words can define. It is a feeling which wells up inside and longs for release. It is a smile which starts in my heart and spreads across my face like a silly grin. It is a knowing so deep in my being that every cell speaks in a language that only lovers know. And most of all, it's a beginning, the birth, a possibility, the promise of a tomorrow, the hope that grows into something we can only imagine when hearts combine and love more. Oh, so beautiful. Well, you kind of have a sacred mission this lifetime. For others, it's more about how you shop in the world and your beautiful positivity. All right, let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you for the month with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Mm, you've got diligence here. There's a bird flying over a lot of fields in different states of growth. So putting the hard work in towards creating your abundance, the things that you're passionate about, your ideas, your projects, maybe your financial stability. Oh, Spirit's saying you might need to have courage at this time. 
Oh, we'll see what that's about. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a rough water there. Oh, you've got the ability to attract and manifest miracles at this time. There's a gorgeous rainbow off the, reflecting off some cliffs there. Mm. And also a need for you to regularly take time in, out in pleasure. There's a beautiful scene in nature there. So a need to replenish your soul. Boost up that vibration of yours. All right, let's put some spiritual guidance. Mm, you've got the diamond star. It's all about your destiny, yeah. I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. Some of you definitely actively working towards your higher purpose. Mm, and you've got the star daughters, which I sing, dance and play with my sisters at sunset. Now, this can relate to your friendships. Could also relate to your soul tribe, your spirit guides. Mm. And you've got the triple star grid, which is aligning with your higher states of consciousness. It is directly related to you taking time out for self, particularly out in nature. Oh, I love this. You've got the storyteller which is you're the narrator of your own life. So the actor and director in your own life. Mm -hmm. Taking charge. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the energy oracle first. So let's have a look at you putting the hard work in and focusing on your destiny. Oh, you've got this beautiful, happy family around you to support you, particularly your immediate family. And you've got the daughter spirit, opening spirits, absolutely watching over you. Some of you are following a path of love and light. Yeah. And the sun's going to come out. This beautiful positive shift in energy. Your plan's working out perfectly. Let's have a look at courage. Okay, there's a contract coming in. Some sort of offer coming in. Could be a sale of an asset. Mm, you're going to need to take action on it. Right, so it could come in fast. Okay, it may open up a lot of new doors for you. All right, let's have a look at you uh, attracting miracles, connecting with your friendships, be your soul tribe. Darlings, you've got cornucopia coming in, success on every level. This is directly sitting under this contract. Number 11 is brand new beginnings, can relate to money, abundance, uh, health, happiness. Mm. Again, you've got a message to be in your higher states of consciousness, the crown chakra. Some of you are absolutely operating from the crown chakra. Mm. And you've got man holding a coin here. So guys, coming into a place of financial security, stability, this could be someone bringing you this offer. Let's have a look at you being in your higher states of consciousness. Okay, some of you have gone through something that has really affected the heart chakra. You've got a broken heart here, and yet your energy is not showing that over here. Mm, okay, there's something within self that's still holding you up and feeling like you're a little tied up and stuck. Mm, and spirit saying, be the thinking woman, girls. Be very balanced and rational. So I don't know if you followed, did something in the past when it comes to your life path that didn't work out for you. Okay, there's a storm warning related to the heart chakra. Any guidance on that? Okay, Spirit's saying there are no limits, my loves. You can do anything you want. You've got the world here. It's a time of expansion. It's a time for moving yourself forward. Have a look at you feeling all tied up and stuck. Mm. Some of you are related to your coin. You've got man holding a coin, woman holding a coin. Some of you possibly worrying that whatever you're doing is not going to create the financial abundance that you want. There's a big focus on your financial security and stability at this time. Let's have a look at you taking time out and pleasure. Yeah, Spirit's saying just rely on your strength. You're very strong. You can, you can handle anything, Gemini. Mm, you're thinking man, thinking woman. Both genders have to be practical and rational and out of your emotional waters. 
Well, it's Bruce saying journaling or having a solid plan would really help you. Mostly having a solid plan. Particularly around your destiny, your life path. Let's have a look at you being the narrator in your own life. Hmm. Spirit's saying when you trust your intuition and what feels right for you, you can't go wrong. Hmm. And your heart, you've got to trust your heart to guide you. Hmm. And live in the present moment. Don't recycle backwards through things that didn't work out. Really love and appreciate self. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at the top row, you putting the hard work in towards your life path. Beautiful, happy family around you. Spirit's watching over you and you've got the sun coming out. Yeah, you're going through this beautiful transformation right now. For a lot of you, it's about being your authentic self and what truly matters to you. Hmm. Spirit's saying you just need to treat yourself with kindness and compassion as well as others, but mostly yourself, and you regularly need some quiet time out. So these changes that are going on in your life could be a little energetically draining. So you're going to have to refill your cup. Let's have a look at you to have encouraged. There's a contract coming in, Spirit saying if you take action on it, it's going to open a lot of doors for you. Yeah, whatever it is, you need to take a leap of faith on it, Spirit saying. Hmm. So we're saying ask for help if you need it, particularly with reading the, the contract fine details and be open to receive this offer when it comes. Be open. Don't be closed off to it. Let's have a look at your miracle that wants to happen. You've got your friendships here or your spiritual team. Cornucopia that wants to happen for you, being in your higher states of consciousness and a man holding a coin. You've got another message to get yourself outside regularly, Gemini. Oh, you're going to get, need to get out in the fresh air. Mm. Doing things creatively, particularly on your time off, would be very helpful. And you just may be feeling a little bit extra sensitive and vulnerable right now. So you need to manage self and your emotions. Let's have a look at this side, which really is a new life chapter starting. And you really just got to watch your emotional waters and trust yourself implicitly. Mm. Again, you've got a message. You need to be bold and take risks and go after what it is you want. You've got guiding children here. So if you have children, you may need to provide some guidance to them or some extra support at this time. Mm. And you've got said in your infinite supply spirit saying, don't worry, your material needs are going to be met, your emotional needs are going to be met. With some guidance from the Crystal Healing deck. Mm. You've got to watch the lunar cycles, particularly your own energy cycles and rest when you need rest. Don't overdo it. Don't push it too hard. Or you've got learning here. This new contract coming in, you may have to learn something new. So that may make you feel a little fearful or a little worried about whether or not you can take it on. Spirit's saying you can. Okay. There's some conflict here. I'm going to say it's possibly inner conflict. Yeah, you just need to apply a lot of self-love. Um, some of you got some negative chatter going on around self. You need to boost yourself up. Hmm. You definitely got abundance coming in. Some of you are worrying that the abundance is not going to come in because it came out reversed. It is going to come in, right? We need to turn it this way. You need to believe your abundance is going to come in that you're worthy of that abundance. So there's an offer coming in that's probably more money than you've possibly ever considered before. Maybe more responsibility that comes with it and some things you need to learn, but it's going to open up so many doors for you. Mm. And for others, you've got fairy stone fertility. So those of you wanting to follow your own life path, it's a perfect time to kick off those ideas. Okay. You've got relationship healing here. There's also a broken heart sitting underneath here. I don't know if you want to heal a relationship with someone. If you do, you've got to take action. So someone has to extend an olive branch there. Mm, you regularly need to ground your energy, particularly to Mother Earth, guided meditation, sound therapy, yoga. All right, let's 
Give me some guidance from the uh, messenger oracle. Oh, Spirit's saying you need to seek your answers within. Go within. Third eye chakra there, the heart chakra. Directly related to your destiny. Mm. And again, you got a message to make the sacrifice, to put the hard work in. This is related to this new contract, this new offer coming in. Mm. And love without condition. Now, unconditional love's come out twice. I'm going to be honest with you, Gemini. You've got to love yourself unconditionally, right? Stop beating yourself up about things that didn't work, certain situations, how you showed up in them. And you've got here the ancient ones, your angels, your spirit guides are going to be trying to communicate with you the whole time. Mm -hmm. Particularly you want to, they're trying to communicate with you through the third eye chakra in your wisdom. Please some guidance from the uh, angel wisdom tarot. Hmm. Underlying message through your whole reading, Gemini, is you need to be in balance, right? Patience and be in balance. Yeah, whatever's coming in is going to come in really fast. Could be unexpected, this offer. Definitely documents you're going to need to review. When I mean, you've got the Four of Cups, so you need to watch that you're not focusing on the negative and the things that haven't worked out. There's an angel offering you a new cup. And you've got the Page of Cups. So there could be some new, uh, for those of you that are single, messages coming in around love, your cup overflowing. If it is, it's very new. Mm. You've got justice here. I'm going to say to you, the past is not going to repeat itself, right? Whatever you went through in the past is not going to repeat itself, particularly when it comes to money, your finances, finances you may have lost, uh, businesses that possibly failed. Uh, it's going to be different this time, right? Any other guidance there? Yeah, again, Spirit saying you're the magician in your own life. You can do anything you want. You've also got the storyteller there. It's up to you, Gemini. Let's pull you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Yeah, confirmation there's a bountiful harvest coming your way. Directly related to your finances and your career. Oh, yeah. Third or fourth message, maybe the fifth, to be gentle with yourself. Just be kind to yourself. Pull yourself up every time you're saying something negative to yourself. Mm hmm. Show yourself to pack it up. Mm. It's really saying you need to take a fresh approach. So you've got to clear some mental and emotional baggage, particularly around how you think about finances, running your own business, doing things that you want to follow up on, could be a new career path. You've got to take a fresh approach and leave the past behind. On the bottom of the deck, it's all about your inner truths, which is coming out again. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. Mm, your throat chakra's come out. So you may need to be like express yourself a bit more, mm, speak your truth a bit more. It can be a divine gift and talent of yours. The crown chakra's come out again. So you need to be operating from your higher states of consciousness, getting stuck in states of anxiety or worry. Now on the lower backs here, so there's definitely attachments you need to release. And, and you know, I've said it now like three times what it is. Right, <laughs> things around your finances and your career you need to release. Things that didn't work out. All right. Now, if some of you are going, how do I do that? Uh, there's many ways you can do it. I'll link in the guided meditation playlist on my channel. There's a whole about a hundred guided meditations in there, done by some of the top people on YouTube. Uh, do any by Kenneth Ceres or Lisa Watley on releasing attachments. All you could do is lay there and listen, darlings. As hard as it is, be warm. Boosty, uh -huh, listen, that's all. There's lots of visualisation exercises you can do as well to release attachments. Now this is how you connect to in the spirit realm, divine gifts and talents, you're connected to a wizard, so an ancient wizard. Mm -hmm. So magic and ritual could be important to you. 
<laughs> Hello, magic and ritual. Uh huh. Yep. Spirit, don't underestimate how powerful those spiritual practices are for you in elevating self. And you're empathic, right? So you've got the gift of being an empath. That resonates with you. You can feel extra sensitive and you can feel the energies of those around you intensely. So you need to protect your energy and learn how to do that. Uh, I have done uh, an ebook on empaths and super empaths. I'll link it in here. Uh, darlings, it's the price of a cup of coffee, right? Go and invest in yourself, mm -hmm. particularly around managing your sensitivity as an empath. All right, let's have a look at your life path guidance. Well, some of you gifted or want to do things around film and television. Now, this could just involve you getting in front of a camera yourself, having your own YouTube channel, sharing a message with the world, whatever it is for you. And right now you're easily distracted and procrastinating, so you need to rein that in, my loves. <laughs> do some goal setting. And you're also a protector, so this could be protecting the rights of others in some way. People, animals, causes. All right, well, let's pull your message from your angels. Oh, you've got vision. It says a positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has the power to influence and transform current events. So how you show up in terms of your level of positivity is going to affect everyone around you. Mm-hmm. Right, let's put your crowning energy from the uh, Divine Circus Oracle. This is so apt for your reading. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you've pulled her wicked ways. Now, I have to be honest, if the message resonated about what you're saying to yourself, this is the most important message for you to hear today, right? <laughs> let's pull you up the guidance. Uh, this deck's by Lana Fairchild, by the way. She's one of my faves. You're ready, Gemini, it says. You are meant to shine bright, to be a sun even in the cold and dark depths of winter, bringing warmth to the world. Some don't like the light. They want to freeze your enthusiasm, douse your creative fire and rain on your parade. Don't let them. Shine your light with stubbornness and happiness. Defeat the Snow Queen in her wicked ways. And the Snow Queen depicted on this oracle does have wicked ways. She likes to test those who are not yet sure of their worth. She'll try to freeze you with a glance that conveys criticism or judgment and ridicule. She'll make you believe that you'll be humiliated and that it's inevitable that you'll fail. So why even begin to start with? She'll plant seeds of doubt like weeds in your soul garden and cause you to lose energy to mental anguish. You'll find the way of your life more difficult than it needs to be if you don't take heed of what's happening and use your power to stand up to her. The Snow Queen might make her presence felt through a loved one that cannot support you or a colleague that's envious of you and wants to see you fall or the voice in your head that is afraid and is yet to really trust your heart to lead you. No matter where she arises, there is only one way to deal with the Snow Queen and her wicked ways. When she tries to freeze you with a glance and says, Who do you think you are? You must stand tall and true and reply, I am me, save your soul slaying, doubt making for another day. I take my own hand freed from your icy grasp. And if you stay anywhere near me, I'll melt you with my creative fire and the warmth of my love. So be gone, wicked one. It's time for you to move on. Oh. There's a very brief healing trick here. I think it'd be worth doing, right? It says to hold your own hand for at least 10 seconds and feel it, right? So grab, get hold of your hand and then say aloud, just listen. Here's what I say to those soul slaying, doubt creating mischief makers. Be gone from me now. I choose to live another way with love and trust and self-belief. I'm on my path daily and it brings me peace. You need to give yourself a hug do that. You need to say, I love you. You're doing a great job. Keep going because things are just going to get better and better. And do that too. 
And there's an affirmation here. It says, I take my own hand with inner confidence. I do what I need to do, shining bright like the sun. I bring the warmth of love and creative fire to the world. I think it'd be really good to like to anchor that message is that for you to visualize the sun, anytime you kind of get into that energy, particularly if it's voices in your own head or dealing with other people that are being negative is for you to imagine radiating out like the heat and light of the sun just can fly out to protect yourself there yeah? and feel the warmth of the fire of the sun. Mm -hmm. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below on how this reading resonated for you. Do remember, enter the competition. Do reach out for a personal reading if you need extra guidance and support at this time. Booking links on here and down below. Uh, do go and check out the inspirational ebooks. They some of them come with the uh, masterclass audio as a little package. Uh, there's also a video library of masterclasses. They're going to really help boost you up and help you on your journey. Uh, I'll put that link on here and down below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.